Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, let's turn to the book of Ephesians. We are speaking of lasciviousness and excess um, and absence of restraint, indecency, a lack of care, um, following passions and desires to the point of no shame or decency. That's what we had defined it as. We saw that Jesus, Peter, Paul, they all reinforced to us that this is behavior that is not in alignment with God's plan. And they also reinforced to us that this is something that separates us from God. So being in a public location, being in your family, being at school, being at work, regardless of where you are, we are representatives of Christ and we saw that. We are part of a royal priesthood. We are separated and we are part of his kingdom and we are therefore asked by the Father to emulate Jesus with the help of the Holy Spirit. So to to continue speaking on that, um, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 19, uh, verse 17, sorry, verse 17 to 24. I know it's a longer passage, but I do believe that the Lord is going to speak to us through this passage, so I'm going to read it. So I tell you this and insist on it in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity with the continual lust for more. You, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance to the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. That's what we're created for. We are created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. And the only way that you can, you and I can do that is through the help of the Holy Spirit. We had said that both the Holy Spirit's control and his work and his um, rulership cannot exist in a place that is also trying to be ruled and controlled by the lusts of the world. In public, in home, even honestly when you're by yourself, it's important that you fill your thoughts with godly thoughts. You fill your mind with the the words of Jesus, with the words of the Holy Spirit, and you let that be um, something that you meditate upon. With your family, the words that we speak, with our friends, it's important that we are continuously showing the love of Christ to everyone. And you can see this again in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. Again, another long passage, but something I think that the Lord really wants to um, speak with us with. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. But among you, there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure. No immoral, impure or greedy person, um, such a man as an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not partake. Uh, do not be partakers with them, for you were once darkness, but now are light in the Lord. Live as children of the light. Live as children of the light. Make sure that God is number one in your place. Because if you remember in verse 5, as we just read, it says, No immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a man is an idolater. Anything that we try to put over God becomes an idol in our life. And that includes our behavior. It says that there should be no obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place. Out of place with what? Out of place with Christ. Out of place, um, out of the kingdom of God. There should be no empty words that exit our mouth 
and there should be no empty actions. There should be no empty behaviors. Everything that we do should be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. So going into this weekend, I encourage you to spend more time with Jesus and become an imitator of God as dearly loved children and offer yourself as a fragrant sacrifice to God.